we've got a pretty long road uh, to the main road and uh, we need to keep it clean from snow and so this is what I came up with we have this small trailer and uh, I made a modification to it it's a wooden plank that I have attached there to the tow hook I put this crate pallet there so that it doesn't uh, uh, slip under the trailer then there is this wooden piece there to keep it uh, in the sh arrow shape and also to keep it from uh, going into the, the tires I have plowed it works pretty well and I will do one more round Lapland Redneck Solutions Always coffee <clears throat> Hi everyone, how are you doing? Uh, my name is Vahid Kölsberg and uh, if you are new to this channel uh, what we are doing in this series of, of videos is uh, to make a handcrafted traditional Scandinavian uh, knife with a birch bark handle and uh, pieces of uh, reindeer antler and the knife I will uh, put out there as a, as a lottery uh, for you guys uh, only available to, uh, to subscribers and uh, the cost of the lottery is uh, six euros uh, where of which one euro will go for, to uh, uh, PayPal fees and uh, so so far last week I uh, identified pieces of uh, birch, birch bark from uh, firewood and uh, we cut out uh, small small pieces to make our uh, handle out of and uh, I'm confident that uh, we have enough uh, birch bark for that. I also started to, uh, to cut the antler piece but I, I uh, when I was doing it, I was uh, it was late, and I wasn't thinking straight. Maybe I was a bit hungry also, so I stopped myself cutting, and uh, I realized that it's better that the piece is still attached to the to the main main antler, and the reason is so that uh, I can I can uh, hold it hold it fast while I work on uh, removing. Uh, 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 material that I will not be needing in, in the final knife so I, I will shape it down as much as possible before I cut it that will make it easier uh, instead of cutting it and then have to find a way to hold it uh, this little piece to try to, to shape it so luckily I I, I uh, I uh, got a hold of myself and realized what I was doing that uh, it would be a very uh, difficult thing task to to uh, just have this small piece to work work on so uh, it's still attached and uh, let's let's get on
Hi everyone, uh, today is Saturday, Saturday 16 November and all, the whole week has practically uh, gone by and I wanted to take uh, a moment and uh, talk about how my uh, days are, are uh, laid up or scheduled and the reason why I want to do that is because the work that I'm doing on the knife goes very slowly and this is because uh, during uh, weekdays, Monday to Friday, I study, I st I'm studying uh, Finnish and uh, so from 9 in the morning to 2 o'clock uh, in the afternoon uh, I'm busy with, 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 uh, with studies plus that uh, we also get uh, homeworks to do so I'm practically busy during the days all the way to uh, let's say 4 or 5 and sometimes even into the evening and living in Lapland it's also so during winter time that it gets dark very fast and uh, it starts to get dark already at this time of year around 2, 2.30 by 3 o'clock it's what we uh, call the, uh, the blue hour 3 o'clock and forward until it gets pitch black it's the blue hour and uh, filming indoors with my uh, Samsung is, is, is very challenging when, when, uh, when you don't have any light to work with you probably noticed during uh, some of my videos but anyways last, last week I ended the video by saying that I have ordered uh, uh, the, the blades and uh, it turns out that they have arrived they are in this envelope here and I haven't opened it yet today is Saturday and uh, it arrived Thursday so it gives you a bit of a a bit of a background of I haven't done anything on the blade since practically last weekend Saturday where I've been uh, working on on the antler so uh, it's a little uh, frustrating for me because last time I did anything proceeded forward was uh, a week ago on this and Saturdays are basically the only days I can work on, on, on this project I have tried to, uh, to go forward during uh, my studies also I'm studying online but it's not always easy and if I uh, work uh, after, the, uh, after my, my studies I will basically only have one hour of daylight a diminishing hour of daylight anyways let's open this envelope and uh, look at our blades exciting okay there is an envelope here Yeah, it's just uh, order affirma confirmation. As you can see, three knives, each one eight euros, total twenty three, plus shipping cost thirty euros. Uh, yeah, so I have. Let's see. Let's see. So, I have ordered three blades. And one is already spoken for, which means that uh, I was uh, approached for a direct purchase. And that person uh, didn't want to be part of the lottery. He wanted. Uh, to buy the knife uh, directly, a direct purchase, and uh, for that I'm charging uh, 200 euros for the ready knife, 
ready knife with handle and also a sheath. 200 euros. The other two are for the lottery. So I will be using one of them for this one and eventually I will also uh, make a, a second uh, lottery. But let's look at the knives. Huh, I didn't expect this uh, marking here. This is the company I ordered it from. Ukot.fe So if you would like to uh, go online and, and uh, look at their stuff. Unfortunately it's all in Finnish. So I had also a big challenging moment to find the right knife for me. As I don't understand Finnish. Anyway, so I chose carbon blades. And I have also wanted to have a medium sized knives for you guys. So the length of the blade is uh, 95 millimeters, nine and a half centimeter. I don't know what that is in inches. You can probably look it up. Also, another requirement of, of mine was I wanted to have the cutting edge all the way to the handle. I don't like when there is a bit of space between the handle and then maybe half a centimeter or so and then the cutting edge. I don't know, I don't understand that uh, reasoning. I prefer to have the, uh, the cutting edge start right on and not somewhere here, which in my opinion is a complete waste of, uh, of use and ability to use a lot of force. Uh, maybe it's security issues, but I don't understand the reasoning behind that either. If the idea is to choke up, come closer to the, uh, to the knife, meaning you kind of hold over the handle and then over the uh, portion of the blade where there is no cutting edge and then come right down to the uh, cutting edge where it starts, I don't get it. Because you might as well just hold the handle and the cutting edge is right there. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Maybe someone can explain it to me in, in a commentary. In a comment. Yes, so. Carbon blades. Nine and a half centimeter. And we have lots of uh, length here for our handle. As you can see, there is a lot of material protruding here. So it gives a good uh, uh, size handle. I will make a rather lengthy handle because uh, I don't know the uh, size of the uh, hands of the owner of this lottery knife. So I will put some extra uh, length there. All right. Carbon, which means that if you would like to file down here to have a sharp corner to either use the knife as a scraper or uh, start a fire using a ferro rod you can do that all right all right all right that's the blades nice so if you manage to get a knife from me through this lottery for uh, through PayPal six euros or a Finnish uh, if it's uh, someone from Finland then you, then uh, we can organize that you only uh, I give you my account and you don't have to send that extra euro just five euros directly so you can see that uh, already with the with the six euros or five euros it's not even covering uh, 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 the the cost of one blade so that's uh, so you, so you see that but this is this is the deal all right what I will be doing is I will now cut uh, two sections out of this one there well in the middle somewhere and one will be the front the guard 
of the knife and one will be the uh, rear. So. Nice, nice, nice. One point nine and a half centimeters. One point one and a half. I'm sorry, two centimeters. To me, I would argue that many of the in the United States have a radical vision. Um, but I wouldn't use that as a flag for this to give votes to vote. Right. And it seems that when people in the global south want to have a radical imagination and a radical reimagining of the world, you think of violence, you think of destruction, and as you said, we don't think about the force that goes against the man. Yeah. Maybe still open a little bit to questions, and I don't know if anyone wants to jump in at this moment. I want to be really focusing on the United States. We've heard from these corporations, and we want to discuss the data. Who? 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 Who do we the truly want to face again? So in the case of uh, Israel-Palestine, I mean, we can pretend that this has been an enduring war that's going on since the beginning of time, which is the kind of dishonest narrative. Or we could say this is a very material struggle over, over land and resources that could end tomorrow if the United States is able to do this. That's the kind of thing. I don't think we're less about the kind of... Three millimeters. ...of good relations and cordiality. But I think we're more about the way that we, particularly when it comes to the Middle East, can radically reshape relations, particularly through our investment in a dominant global power, global world power. You know, I like my family. Yeah. I don't think we'd like to see that because it's about 
white men who stay from brown women from brown men. Yeah. And so we end up, oh my God, let's build a stage and we don't have to wear pants and we don't have to step. You know, can really a whole lot be really yeah, yeah. This one is three millimeters, but I will start with a smaller one. Two and a half. Guaranteed smaller. Yeah. 
This part of the job will take a long time, but it's very important to get a perfect snug fit. I'm sure there are other knife makers out there who make exact fittings, develop some method to do it perfectly.
looking for a serial man in Mark Sandy. The box that is there is an outcome to the policy. Not to the one from the one from the president. The the is the one from the one from the they wanted to do a service into a nice mayor. Our office landed in their house and the philosophy neighborhood in southern Sicily. They stopped raising drastic cross motion to every corner of their home. Alright, I have to eat something. Let's take a break. I'm, I'm bending the file also as I go, you can bending it a little so that it can reach the middle parts better. Okay, we still have we still have a little to work on.
the most. problem is up here now have, have to remove a bit up here down there it's okay Almost perfect. Just a minor adjustment. Almost, almost. Perfect. Ah, 
there's a bit of gap still there down there all right i will make that final adjustment and then we will move on all right so we've managed to uh, fit this uh, front piece all the way very uh, snug snug up it's very tight and from now this was the part that took the longest time and what is left on this now to do is uh, to straighten up here as maybe you can see it's not very uh, perfectly flat so I will do that and after that we will stack up our uh, birch bark and as a last piece there is this uh, rear part that will come on top and this one also needs some uh, some work on but this was the biggest job so far fitting in the tang all the way tight up and I'm very happy about the result there are some gaps in the lower part there but that's not a real issue I will be uh, uh, grinding some uh, bone bone dust and mix it in with uh, uh, glue and uh, fill in fill in these uh, small gaps there so it it will not even be uh, be seen everything will look uh, completely uh, tight all right but uh, I think what remains uh, hopefully I will be able to do some more more work during uh, next week so that uh, uh, I'll film it naturally and uh, but for this time I think we will end this video here I have spent the whole day uh, fitting this piece in there you can probably see from the window that it's dark outside I think it's around seven or eight o'clock now at night uh, all right so thank you everyone for uh, this week's uh, uh, for this week's video and we have come this far so from now on it's not it's not much left the worst part is over and uh, thank you for uh, coming in and to new viewers what we are doing is uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos about this uh, lottery knife uh, if you subscribe you will be able to participate in this lottery so I will be filming the process of making a handle on this one and uh, later on also a sheath to it and I will put it out as a lottery for uh, 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 five euros but six euros via PayPal, uh, one euro goes to cover the PayPal transaction fees, approximately one euro. And for uh, Finnish subscribers, you can contact me if you want to uh, be part of it. And uh, I will give you my uh, account number and you can uh, uh, transfer five euros directly. So no need to transfer that extra one euro. Uh, all right so thank you again everyone for uh, this week's episode and uh, i'll catch you on the next one paypal vahid.kulsberg at gmail.com